Okay, there's a couple things I want to show you. Um, first off, that piece of fuzz on me, don't I? Right, right there. Um, I'm going to tilt the camera over here real quick. So I want you to see something. I've actually got this old camcorder working and I'm hooked up to the TV. But anyway, alright. So that's, that's over with. Let's get down to some serious showing stuff. Okay. Um. First, I'll show you the little things. Well, first off, I have a PO box. So if you want to, if you have like a knife or something you want like me to review, um, or you know, you want me to review a gun or something, just send me some cash. I go out, buy it, and give it a review for you. Or if you just really like, you know, watching me and stuff, you want to send me a couple bucks, cool. Or you send me letters. Um, you send me if you send me like letters or anything like that. Um, chances are I'll read them. I'll make a video over a bunch of them and stuff. Um, so this is it. Just send it um, MP5 man, PO Box 187, Michigan City, Indiana 46360. And I'll try and put that in the little comment or the little thingy down here, little description thingy. So here you got that. Um, but you got some more crap. I got a couple NRA coins. This one is the M40 rifle series. And that one is the one. I'm not gonna show the front's the same. The M1911. Um I got this little monocle. Oh, it's not too bad. It's Um, I think up here in my neighbor's house uh, across the street, like I was standing 20 feet closer, so. Not real bad. Um, this is a plastic knife. Okay. Tips broke off, but. To the collection of stuff. And speaking of knives, we got a um, their little sharpener. Good. These things are great. Have um, it's a good sized stone. Tips broke off. What about hey, whatever. Because you can use the tip for doing a little fine work on stuff, and it's broad enough to where you know you can sharpen a machete pretty easy with this thing. I think that's gonna go on my camping gear. I have a uh, power amp. And another sharpener. A little pocket one. This is diamond coated. This would be another nice little one to throw in your camping gear. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think it disperses mace. You got a light and some sort of nozzle. Ish. It's, it's very simple. I don't smell it. Got a little pocket clip on here. I see no markings on it at all. Looks like maybe there's a label. Something here. I also see an over way of opening because I'm unscrewing the top. I don't know. Um, there's 
summer one to show you, but I can't find it right now. Um, there's a bunch of little blue jacket manuals. Three of them, actually. Four, but one's not going anywhere. Um, got 19. This is, by the way, the Handbook of the Navy. In 1940, 1943, and 1944. Um, I don't know if this is real. Uh, but this one is volume one. I don't know if this is 100% real or not. Especially this routine age and campus book clubs. So probably not. Um, but this one. Is very special. 14th edition of the Blue Jackets manual. And the reason this is special is because inside the flap here, that's my grandpa. This was his manual. Okay. So, um, speaking of him, here's his, I'm not sure what you call it, um, this little patch, shoulder patch. I don't know what they call it in the Navy. But what it does is has these two things right here are his rank or rate. Okay, this one is his rating or his job. So he's a petty officer and he was, uh, I can't remember what the actual overall name is, but that's his radar man. And that's the emblem for like, I think it's like radar combo and stuff. So. much of my time, I think about like six minutes or something. Yeah, I got time. I also got two stamps. This one's pretty cool. It's a Bates multiple movement. Now, the reason it's cool is because every time you stamp it, it rotates the number. Or you can go you can flip it over here, duplicate, where it's the same number again and again. Or you can go over here, triplicate. That means every three, now the number's different. Number's different, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is my favorite stamp. Check my over here. Um, it's actually got a clock on it. And the stamp, the clock on it down here, so it works. Put a microphone out on this thing right here. So like you'll have it sitting there running and when you get a piece of paper in you put the date here and the time will show up down here so you just like bonk it was received on such and such date at such and such time so that's what I was looking for I found a steel ball it's um a couple Magazines, single sideband for the amateur radio, radio amateurs or license manual. How to become a beacon radio amateur, learning the radio telegraph code, and these were all from the ARRL, American Radio American Radio Relay League. You know, I don't know a date on these. Right? Yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've actually opened these. But that's pretty cool. And finally, this. What this is, is a lock pick. And screw down here. You pop a tension wrench off. So you always have a lock pick with you. Beats carrying around the whole kit. Which actually, let me grab it real quick. <laughs> this is actually my grandpa's lockpick kit. There's something in here I don't know about. This right here. Interesting little tension wrench. Alright, see ya.